and changes. What is going on guys, Multiplayer HD here and I am back with another play review and this time we are taking a look at AJ Morales or Jose Morales. I call him AJ because his name appears as that in game if you have your name tags on, he appears as AJ Morales, not really sure why it confused me the first time, but nevertheless, I've been meaning to review this card for a good while now because I've faced him a couple of times, probably about, probably about three or four times and each time he's torn me up, he's been been very difficult to defend, you could say, very hard, very good on the finishing aspect, and he's quite strong and decent passing as well. So we look at his card, it's a 5 by 11, high medium, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, all great there. On his base tag, we have 89 pace, 85 dribbling, 81 shooting, and 76 passing. That's pretty decent too. We go into the attributes, and we look at some key areas, and first up we can notice the 90 um, sprint speed. Along with his 84 attack positioning and 83 finishing, which is very nice. His dribbling, all across the board, is decent. His agility is a little bit on the low side from what I prefer on my players, having quite high agility. But his ball control, 84, and dribbling at 88 is phenomenal. Decent stamina as well at 82. And his passing, for his originally a striker, I understand it's a centre forward, but I've changed in there and you'll see why in a second. But for originally a striker, to have 78 passing is very good, along with the 82 curve. So we'll look at the team which I played him in, and if anyone's following my reviews right now, well, you will understand that this team is very prevalent for me. It's quite good, I think, to review players in the same team as well, because I get a real good feel on these players. So he's coming in to replace Freck here, who normally plays over here, and I will say right now, I think this could be a permanent replacement, because he kind of was pretty decent. So yes, I understand there's a few red cards and uh, contract missing here and there. Just something, something happened bad in that game, he decided to get sent off. Wasn't my fault, you know. never, never is your fault when you're playing the game. <laughs> but yeah, the team we played with, Zhao Felix uh, in front, uh, along with Werner. Werner, quality card, one of our favourite cards in this game. Toliso, Campbell, Hector Herrera, Testegen, Jonathan Tarr, Nico Schultz, and Jimenez. So we go into the custom tactics, and I changed back to my 4 triple 2 I have been using the uh, 4 one 2 one 2 quite a lot actually, and I don't know why, I was struggling to create chances with it. So I thought I'd change back to my tried and tested 4 triple 2 from which I started using in the first week which I praised a lot. I don't even know why I ever changed, I just felt like people were saying the 4 one 2 and 2 is better so I thought I'd give it a go. And personally I still think the 4 triple 2 is better. So you see the team which I played him with and you see where I played him. He went up strike instead of Joe Felix. Joe Felix normally played the right striker role but I moved Joe Felix out to the left attacking mid and played Morales as a right striker to get a real good feel on his actual position in game. For instruction wise, I had him on stay central and get in behind. He was one of the only few strikers I didn't put on stay forward because I felt like his card, he's got good enough dribble anyway. I don't mind if he comes back and picks up the ball and does some quick one twos to get forward. I kind of want him to do that. So I decided to keep him on basic defence ball, come back when needed and stay up when needed. So we'll go back to his card and this is actually a little bit different this time. I did actually have a chemistry style, but I thought I'll change the chemistry style and I'll put it backwards to a basic. So the camera I will put him on though, I think the best one for him would be a sniper. I understand right now he's not on 10 chem, which I think that one chem won't make too much difference, but I thought the sniper, to increase that dribbling a little bit more, and definitely boost up that agility a lot more, and increase that finishing by what would be plus 15 instead of plus 13, so it makes him a pretty lethal striker. So we'll go into the clips now, and I'll be back at the end of the video to show you my verdict on AJ Morales.
So AJ Morales, like I mentioned at the start of this video, I was really looking forward to using this card due to the sheer fact of times I faced him and he's done really good against me. And let's first start, let's start by saying sorry, that this card did not let me down. He was a very good card. I was a little bit skeptical that maybe it was just a little bit of luck and the card against me did really good and you know, then for you they're going to do really bad. But honestly, his first positive was his finishing. With that sniper cam style, this guy would finish most of his shots. If not, you've seen a bunch of good shots from the edge of the area, out to the box, into the box. He pretty much tests the goalkeeper 9.9 .9 times out of 10. One or two shots here would go wide, but that's really it. His finishing was incredible. On the half volley, he brought one down and dropped it into the bottom corner. Another time, he scooped it into this sort of kind of like a power firm finesse shot. I'm not really sure how he did that. Like, the shot to me kind of surprised me. It's one of my favourite shots I've done this year. So overall finishing, very good despite only seeing 81 on the card, I'm guessing the sniper actually makes up for that. Next up is his dribbling and his ball control, coming into one this is. His overall ball control when he receives the ball, he touches it so cleanly, no, never, never pushes it ahead of him, always has a nice touch. And his dribbling, once he gets going, moving on the run, he feels really good. Like, he doesn't lose the ball, doesn't get pushed off easily, he keeps the ball nice and close to him. The only real negative to him was his actual agility. Trying to do the L1 or I think it's LB on the Xbox controller, that, that type of dribbling, he wasn't that great with. He was very quite slow doing it. And then his turn, he would be noticeable, as you can see, his agility was noticeable then. Even with the sniper cam sign, he still feel quite bad in that sort of area. So, his swings and roundabouts with his dribbling, having him on the run going in behind worked for him. That's why I put him into that, that sort of tactic. But having him close up against players using his quick agility, it's not quick enough and you do feel the negativity with that. On to my actual opinions, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. He's uh, not the best card I've used this year, there's still Werner who I'd had him in Werner by far the best striker I've used this year. I'm yet to use the likes of Messi etc apart from in Giraffe or Dalglish, Dalglish meant to be a good one. But I could compare this guy to a cheaper Werner from the uh, Liga BBVA, I, w I would say that. He plays very similar to the way Werner does, and that's why I think he's going to stay in my team and be my striker alongside Werner until I change into my Prem squad and use Werner in my Prem squad. For the foot champs, I, I definitely think, you guys, if you want a striker who's fairly cheap and is quite overpowered, get this guy. He will annoy your, the, the opponents. He's not known, that's one thing. When you face strikers, you don't really see that often, and they come up against you, you're wondering, who is this guy? And then he just scores an amazing goal against you, and you're like thinking, like, oh, yeah, so this guy's not going to be fun. So he's that sort of guy, like when I faced him first, I've heard of the name Morales, but then I've seen Adrian Morales, like, who's this guy? Never, never seen this guy before. Next up, uh, 10k, I guess, like I can imagine, that's, that's cheap, like, if you're not getting 10k by the first weekend league, in my opinion guys, you're doing something wrong. You should easily be able to afford 10k to spare on a striker, which is your most important position in the entire team. Sniper for the chem style, you could put like a hawk or something on him to increase his pace a little bit more, 8 to 9 pace is fine, boost up that dribbling, Boost up that shooting more. Sniper's perfect. And my enjoyment was a 9.5. He was he was quite fun to use, to be honest. I had a game where I won 7-0, and I could have put like 20 clips in for that game. He just smashed it. But I'm guessing you guys would have thought it was really boring watching 20 clips on one game. So, overall, a very good card. I would recommend if you're looking for a Liga BBVA striker and you haven't got the massive amounts of money to go and buy the likes of Griezmann, etc., pick up this guy. Give him a try. I'm pretty sure you will not be disappointed. Now, guys, if you want me to review one of them, Please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to review them as long as they're not the people I like heard or something like that because I do not have 15 million coins unfortunately. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and I'll speak to you next time. Peace.